Good morning, good morning, good morning to each and every one of you all. Uh, this spot this morning was specially selected because I want to try and see if I can fool my brother Malcolm. But I know he probably knows it as well, but I'm trying that in my best way. I'm sure some of you all know, well, you know where we are, which coastline we're on. But exactly where we are, some of you may now know from knowing this wall here if you've walked by it a few times before. Good morning to each and every one of you all and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. And of course, handsomeness beyond belief. That is me, of course. Good morning to everyone. Hope you're having a great Monday. Remember this beginning of yours, count down to your weekend. To me, it's just another beautiful day to be alive because I don't have a week or a weekend. Every day is for me the same way. Beautiful. I only go over the calendar because you all have to work for me. <laughs> Good morning to everyone. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. I hope you're all safe. You're all well. Hope you're giving thanks for our life this morning. We are in the beautiful West Coast, the island. Uh, we are subjected to this torture again because of climatic conditions and the lack of the microphone. If not, we would certainly not be down here again. So all of you that are having withdrawal symptoms from the other coastlines, bear with us. So as we get our technical challenges sorted out, we will. Um, on technical challenges, still having some issues with syncing the voice and stuff um, for YouTube. So we're not able to put up any quality that we're um, being accustomed to putting up. Not at the moment anyhow. We'll see what we can do about that there. But we're still going to bring you Barbados as best as we can. Um, we're going to say our serenity prayer, but we're going to face a different direction. You're all going to know where we are right now, um, but we're going to face a different direction for that this morning. There we go. Stunning, stunning conditions down here this morning. Look at the sky, look at the clouds, look at the lovely glows around the trims of the clouds. Still very dark on the side of the island. Could somebody please call the south coast and ask them if the sun has started to come up yet? Because I do not know if the sun is risen yet, because of course we're down on the west coast. Beautiful conditions this morning though, a little bit of a swell still running, but stunning. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes time. We like to look this way into this beauty and see our serenity prayer. Remember, this is not a religious prayer, it's a prayer for peace, for guidance and for direction and for calming ourselves because let me understand what we're responsible for. We can understand that, but you know it's very little. We're only responsible for our actions and our thoughts and our, uh, what we actually um, do around us and uh, reflect on the people around us. So. Try and be positive today, be peaceful, be calm. Remember, the rest is left up to God, um, to your light, to your higher power, whatever. Um, as long as it's positive and you're going in the right direction, um, you know, continue to walk on your course because you're going in the right direction for sure. All right, so we can see our serenity prayer now, those of you like join us, please do. All others will be back to you in a few moments time. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful conditions out here. Who would have thought a couple of days ago you really could have swim on this coastline because of the severe conditions that were coming through, or it was very difficult to swim on it, I should say. Um, however, right now things are a little bit calmish, but there is a very, very big um, north swell still coming through. It's coming in more to the east right now, and that's probably why we're not seeing it down here. But over the next two days, we're expecting to see um, some very big swells, especially coming into the weekend, all up in three meters and stuff. Um, that would be mainly along the south and southeastern section, mainly the southeastern section, with the occasional lap over to the north and west. Um, so please, if you are coming on to the, any of the coastlines in Barbados, please exercise caution. Right now you see conditions are not calm and placid, uh, like swimming pool effects. Um, they are quite rough, a lot of currents and stuff. Um, so just exercise caution, please. You know, this is the time of year um, that we all celebrate 
and we all enjoy ourselves. Unfortunately, this is all the time of year that we continuously hear people losing their lives in the waters around Barbados. That's locals and visitors alike. So remember, this is not the time to fool around. Be careful, please. We want you to enjoy yourselves here. If you live in Barbados and you're know, well, we want you to enjoy your island, of course. But everyone, please exercise caution. Um, good morning to our national hero, uh, Rihanna. Good morning. This is where Rihanna resides. She has a condo in a section here. Um, she has not invited me for coffee yet. I guess that is because she's been pretty busy. Because I'm pretty sure she'll invite me when she sees the vlog. Uh, that will come in time. But I'm not worried about it because I know I know she watches. I assume she does. <laughs> Good morning, Rihanna. And thank you again for bringing Barbados into the spotlight of the world. There are many other people who have contributed to that in the past. But she has most definitely been um, the most effective in that way. Because she's brought international recognition um, to Barbados. Like a lot of other people that strive to do. But... Her forum has been much, much broader than anyone else's and she has done a, an amazing job in doing so. Great ambassador for the island and definitely, um, most definitely has earned um, the rights to be called a hero, a national hero. She's definitely one of my heroes for sure. She's what I like to refer to as our Bajan queen. Beautiful, beautiful woman that has strived from very difficult times and has come out flourishing. And it just gives us the encouragement of how we can all do the same as well beautiful conditions. This is absolutely stunning Payne's Bay Beach. A lot of you all know that already. You're still going to call it anyhow for those that may not know. Um, what we're also going to do is we're going to take a little swim in a second because um, the conditions here are favorite. Further up, not much um, good areas to swim in. A couple of areas, but the amount of sand that's been moving, as you can see, look at these big drop off here. Uh, we don't normally, I'm going to come around slowly so we don't get any uh, blurring. It's still a little bit dark, so we might not pick that resolution too well. You can see these pylons are these little groin areas here that were dropped near the side of where the actual drain section is that runs um, to the south of one sandy lane, um, comes up through here. You don't normally see them exposed. Normally they're under sand, um, as you would know those have walked this area. Sometimes you do, but very rarely. So you would know how much sand has moved over the last couple of weeks west coast. For at least two weeks now, it's been getting impacted by a swell, and it's gonna continue, as I said. Beautiful conditions. So this was originally one of the main uh, walkways through to here. This is opposite what used to be called the Coach House. I don't know if you all remember that. It was an English style pub. Um, it was a sister to the Ship Inn, which was on the south coast. Coach House and Ship Inn both closed down many, many years ago. Coach House actually has been taken right down and leveled right down. Um, the plot of land is up there sitting for development. Not too sure what's going to be going on there. Um, but beautiful, beautiful area. Unfortunately, it is sort of like hedged by these horrible bush. Um, actually, no, I, I, mean, I need to say though, that these bush here are beautiful when they're trimmed and maintained. Um, the, the, the fruit on them or the berries on them, they actually are beautiful and colorful. Um, but just like the mansion here, which is beautiful and fantastic and it serves its purpose, you do not put them in your mouth because they taste terrible. I can tell you, I, I um, subjected our co-star to some when she was here. I have video footage for all of you see great police and her committee to show you how horrible it was. Uh, I would not even show you that because I, I know her, her facial expressions were not things that she wants to see in public media, but they were terrible and she thought they were disgusting. And if she's on here and she denies it, um, you all know already, I speak the truth. Others seldom do. <laughs> all right, beautiful conditions here. Good size drop off. You can see how quickly it gets dark. That will tell you how quick the drop off is from sand down in, well, it's sand again, but it's going to drop off very quickly. You can see the difference. You can also see the discoloration of water usually down here is like a crystal clear, like some pool conditions. Uh, however, a lot of sand has been moving. We have barely stepped off the shoreline and we're going down to waste right now already. Um, there is an embankment further out. Sand has been moving a lot. So there's little troughs all over the place, but there are the, um, I would say the higher levels of sand, like definitely ridges and stuff as I'm walking over and going down into steps and then step back up onto high elevation again. Beautiful. No, sister from the east. This is not cold out here this morning. I will tell you this morning when it got was a little bit chillier than normal, but it's absolutely perfect in the water. Uh, the water is, for you, would be cold, but for me it's not cold because I already told you all, I am superhuman. You all would know that already. Perfect, handsome, and superhuman as well. So I have an outer skin that is sort of like impenetrable, um, so I don't normally feel the cold and stuff. Usually I watch people when I see them chatter and thing, I'll put my arms up and pretend I'm cold just so I look as though I'm fitting in. But I really don't experience any of the conditions that you all experience because of my extreme hard outer shell. 
beautiful this morning. You can see a lot of villas along here. Um, absolutely stunning coast. 991 that's been here in this beach. A lot of people call this their favorite beach. I know we have some Westies on here. I must say, oh yeah, today we're back to the West Coast. And that's because the West is best. No, that's not the reason at all. It just is that the wind is too strong right now to go to the best coast. Uh, well, the best coast could be covered, but we've done that recently. So I want to come back down here. We haven't actually done here and, um, since I think it was the 22nd of September. So it has been a while. Last time we were here, the resolution was very low. We started on the other end where we had started with a low signal or relatively low signal and it never got better. Right now we're starting directly in front of the cell towers here opposite one Sandy Lane. So it should be beautiful conditions, great for visibility and stuff. You see how that goes. We can walk in it in the southerly direction um, in that way. This is not Dosel Saturday, so we will not be moving at one kilometer an hour. So any of you that are on here expecting to move along, uh, no, go nowhere, uh, do nothing except for talk, 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 like our new host that got, joins us on, I had to say host, because she's not a co-host, she's our host now on a Saturday. Good morning to you, Miss Care. Uh, yesterday you once again displayed your wickedness. Um, switch Mary and you all behave terrible. For any of those that are at Crystal Waters yesterday, thanks so much for coming out. Um, I want you to see my face on this one here. Uh, yes, this is my face. Period. Not only on this, but just period. But um, thanks to all those that came up yesterday. You really made it fantastic. We had about 14 people at our table. I mean, at our table. And then we had numerous family and friends all around. Mr. Impact, you put on a great show yesterday, but I was usually seeing when I approached you for the video, you were on the phone. Um, I didn't broadcast a second time. Um, just didn't have the mood. I want to socialize a little bit more, spend more time with the family. Um, billionaire, it was great to meet you, man, and your wife. Lovely. Uh, everyone, it was just great to meet you. So if I didn't call any names except for the billionaire, you understand, I've called all the others so often that I'm sick of calling them. So, yes, anyhow. <laughs> our party animal was not in a party mood yesterday. And, and of course, our mascara, well, she sprained her ankle, I'm sorry, or did some damage to her ankle, so she wasn't partying. But trust me, the chair will remember her for weeks to come. Because she didn't, it wasn't easy yesterday. I was sitting like close, like two feet away from her. I had to relocate my chair to about six feet away from her because she was pelting waist all over the place. Obviously her, her ankle did not affect her waist at all. The pain was not being generated anywhere above just maybe her shin. So she was doing her own thing. And to everyone else again, thanks so much for coming yesterday. You showed yesterday not only the love and the care and the respect and the kindness that we continually show, that all of us show in this EMC and that's what we're made up of. But you also showed the unity yesterday. You came out in your numbers because we had two of our special guests who were with us, two of our long timers. And you came on your numbers and showed them how much they were loved and cared for. And I thought that was just an amazing show of unity. And you can look around and see, you know, we, we are most definitely a very unified group. And that's because we have one column element and that's to be as kind and caring as we possibly can be to each other. That is what people flock to. What people also flock to is annoying nuisances known as the bad behaved people or the troublesome ones apparently because uh, I noticed that Simone again I hate to call her name you know honestly I, I feel nauseous when they call her name because she's so upsetting but she is being a nuisance striking out every day and within like three minutes of coming on she's striking out and trust me she could get at least a dozen strikes but I have to restrict everyone to two strikes thank goodness I'll be answering her for the rest of the day I see people here cat blocking talking a lot of foolishness Anyhow, I will get back to you all later on. I'll deal with you all accordingly. So I'm going to turn the camera off me just for a minute. I don't be sad. Don't be sad. I'll be back soon. Just want to show you what's going on around here. Beautiful, beautiful beach. So, and I know you're probably on this morning because when you, like, you have someone that calls you and says, Nick, this is on the West Coast, so get up quick. Come and talk some foolishness. So good morning to you as well and to every other person that calls themselves Westies, especially my co-star. Good morning to you, Jeanette. I, I, I don't like to single out people, but everybody knows I'm going to single her out because I, I can't hide my love. Uh, when I love someone, I got to talk about it. So good morning to you, Jeanette. Love you. Thank you for being here and keeping my company. Likewise, everyone else, thank you for being here. We have a new name that was given out yesterday. I would like to make it known. Um, you know, <laughs> it's strange enough. I don't know why people keep calling people by the wrong names, but we do know our head cheerleader. She is now known as our, our sulking head cheerleader because she sulks all the time. But you will see that yourself in the vlogs. Uh, yesterday she was trying to criticize and saying that I brought the bad behavior and her and her family is blaming me for all of that. Uh, I, I hate to tell you, but I got worse behaved since you've been here. Um, so you can look back at the vlogs here. Yeah, I was a quiet, innocent, gentle and kind guy until last year, December, when you joined us in Barbados. And then from there, everything just went downhill. You know, that's just what happens when you're around people that influence you, even when it's negative. <laughs> so, 
people putting out their, their chairs and stuff here. It's beautiful down here, Coral Cove. There, there's so many different places down here, but they're like almost bumper to bumper. Some of them show their plots of land by signs that are right where the borders are, so it sort of like keeps out of chairs and coming over onto their properties. As you can appreciate, as this sand has shrunk up onto the beach, the beach share area gets a lot less, and therefore people are making sure to protect their beachfront section for their guests that are here, of course. Well, you may remember Blue Monkey Beach Bar that was down in here. This was one of the most popular beach stops for cruise ships on the island. Um, one was because the passengers could get here easily onto the west coast. It was very close. Didn't cost much sea conditions here. Most of the time are favorable for swimming. Um, I would say definitely the most consistent coastline for swimming or for snorkeling in the island. A lot of people used to get dropped off here, spend the entire day and then collect it and take them back to the cruise ship. So you won't find as many people here now as there used to be before. Um, there are still a lot of facilities down here, but that was a very, very popular bar at one time, Blue Monkey. Just beautiful on this side of the island. I have to say though, I mean, I give, you, I give people a lot of pressure. Uh, West Coast, South Coast people, well, I want to give the West Coast people pressure, but I said South Coast because you want to be sort of like politically correct. I give everyone pressure, no matter where they're from. Some a little more than others, and that's because they deserve it. But um, the West Coast is actually beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. It's certainly not the best coast at all. I keep telling people all the time that Barbados's coastlines are all absolutely stunning. But the infrastructure around them is what I go to or I gravitate towards. I love the South Coast because it is like living on a resort. Because the entire South Coast is packed with nightclubs, bars, restaurants, tons of big beaches, beach facilities, all types of chairs and stuff. West Coast, a very long coast, very stretched out. Uh, whole Town resembles the South Coast a lot. That's probably why I moved to Whole Town a lot more um, because I do love that kind of environment. I like all the action right around me and Whole Town is just like that. Um, otherwise, that the West Coast to me is just too stretched out. It's nothing to do with the beauty of the West Coast or anything else. It's just I prefer the coastline of the South. I call the South the best coast. I call the, the West Coast the boring coast. West is boring. Uh, boring is because you can come down here almost every day, get perfect sea conditions, get great snorkeling conditions, get all the water sports that you possibly want, um, you know, and you can have fun almost every day. So I would say that, that would, is why you say the sea conditions are better. I like the south because I like the swells, I like to be able to body surf, I like to come out of the sea with sand in my hair, sand in my ears, sand in my pants, sand in my, sand in my, sand in my, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to repeat myself. <laughs> I just didn't want to say any more. Good morning, how are you this morning? This is the proprietor here. Uh, would you like to say hello to our family? Yeah, this is our EMC family. I'm coming over to you. You can introduce yourself and your, your brand here. You can do much better than me. How are you this morning? I'm fine. This is EMC. EMC is Early Morning Crew. We're a spiritual group that come together every morning just to give praise and thanks for our lives and oh. to go on in today in positivity and love and kindness. Oh. Okay, and your, your place, I can read it quite clearly, but what is your place called? No, this is um, Old Trees. And this right. Is the gazebo. The gazebo. Yeah, yeah. So you're setting up, you're setting up right in front. This is your condos here and stuff? No, oh. This is your home here? Yeah. So these are your chairs for your for yourself? Or for myself. your guests? Myself. Yourself? Yeah. Oh my goodness, and your guests. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you have a great day. What's your name? I'm Jean Hope. Jean Hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyone that knows Jean Hope, please tag her so she can find us. Uh, again, Jean Hope. Thanks very much again, okay? Yes. Have a great day. See you later. See you. Okay, thank you. As you can see, um, where the blue, well, not where the Blue Monkey was, but this is all crept up now. Um, this area is called the Gazebo, it is a lovely facility down here. It's one of the only ones really here along this section that caters to the general public. Um, most of the other restaurants and stuff in this area will cater um, to the hotel and their guests. Yeah, I, I'm glad you're all laughing at her name called Simone, because she's a nuisance, let me tell you. I, I had to have serious words uh, with the most troublesome one, who obviously has the most strikes at the moment. I ain't going to release our latest strike count because a lot of people have been gaining some momentum and they're looking in threatening conditions it's looking great um, however unfortunately the water baby she's the most annoying over a recent past with two strikes every day every time she comes on two strikes so that clearly will tell you she is the most annoying and aggravating person that comes on to this for sure thank you to all the 34 people that are on this morning they're brave in the early morning conditions um, they are brushing ice clothes off at her nose this morning so they can watch this screen and enjoy this beauty of Barbados with us. Now you know already, she's on bread. As soon as I say beauty of Barbados, you know what you gotta do. I gotta flick the camera because <laughs> I gotta show you the real beauty of Barbados. Well, uh, just to let you know, I'm the Belgian warrior. 
yeah, everybody may not know that. I'm also known as a Mr. Olympian, Mr. Perfectionist, Mr. Perfect. Anything like that there is me. I also am known as the man that tells the most truth in the island. I do not fabricate information. It's always historical. It's always factual. It's always something you need to hear. And what you need to hear right now is, is that everything I say is true. And everything that you're seeing on print here is a lot of lies if they're negative. But if they're about me or they're positive, they're telling the truth. They're my friends. <laughs> the haters are as good of friends to me as my friends. So it's not a problem. I, I'll take their hates because they can give them strikes. They're going to have to get coffee from me. And they're also going to have to be subject to singing. Our bus driver got away. She came down here. She brought three pounds of coffee for me. So how could I, how could I put her through the torture listening to me sing? But any of you all other ones, get ready. I see Mrs. Certifiable. Yes, I am as well. Certifiable. Amazing. Absolutely. All right, let's switch again one more time. All right, didn't want to switch. See, camera wants to stay on me, so we're going to stay right here, right now. So what we can do is we can take a lovely circle of love. We start with the center of the circle of love being me, of course. So all this is radiated from my heart. Here we go. I noticed a drastic increase in numbers just now, like boom, just like that. Everybody started to come on, so everybody's saying, He's online, come quick, come quick, come quick, next online. Anyhow, I'm going offline now, so I'm going to go back in that direction. Here we go. If any of you newcomers are coming on here, and you see comments and stuff that are being said that look as though they're um, through dislike or anything like that, trust me, everything that's said on here is done through love and affection and kindness. We just like to banter and tease each other and cause a lot of chaos within ourselves. So please stay on for a little while, get a custom and see what we do before you form an opinion of what the group is all about. Um, come and join us, enjoy love, enjoy kindness and peace. If you're on this morning, you are unable um, to, sign, to make any comments and stuff, you could either be um, noted as a spammer, like our co-star, who gets banned almost every morning now. Uh, hopefully it will not be this morning, because I do miss her banter, I do miss her wit. Um, or you are just uh, unable to do so because you're not a friend of mine. Uh, if you are a friend of someone else on here, you can do that. But when they're not on, you will not be able to comment. So uh, please make, send a friend request to me and let me send you information or a map and some information get you up and running really quickly. I saw last night, a certain person came in here. Uh, I, I, somebody told me you got to put land in front of his name, but I refuse to put land in front of his name. I'm going to call him our vampire shark. I'm not going to change that name. Good morning to you, Dimitri. It's great to see you, my brother. Yes, it was fun to see you. I, I, I hope you like reverse psychology I pulled on you. He invited me over to his table to speak to the people that are at his table. I'm not going to say if there are men, women or who. I'll leave it at that, people at his table. Um, he told me, come over here and see if you can tell them something that they um, would believe about me that's negative. We know he went over there and praised them completely. I know he'd already briefed them. I told them this fellow can come over and talk about stupidness. So when he said, well, he's a handsome, nice guy. Obviously, that took them by a surprise because uh, they didn't even speak. <laughs> so, Dimitri, let your friends know that please, next time you come over, speak to me, please. I'm just saying. <laughs> as you can see, we're on the rocky coast of the island. Uh, people say about sargasm on itself, but as you can see, lots of rocks down here. Actually, you'll notice a lot of sand has moved in this direction um, because of the big north swell. You will remember last time you went around this point here that there was no sand in front of that wall at all. Well, just enough for us to run through quickly and not get the camera wet. But you can see all the sand has shifted to the side of the bay. So it's basically washed from the northern side with these swells which are coming in from the north and washed to the southern end of this beach. You can see that quite clearly as we're moving on. In the distance, no, that is not a fire, they're fogging. That is another thing you will find a lot of um, on the west coast, a lot of fogging, especially in better areas. Uh, almost daily operations go on. You don't really find that too much on the south coast. And that's not saying that there are no mosquitoes on the south. It is saying that the west coast um, definitely have a more stringent routine and stuff going on. Um, you know, they have to protect their guests and stuff. This morning, I met these two ladies here as they were walking. They were marveling at my amazing artistry on the beach. I had other stuff written on the beach, but I didn't want to share that with you all. That's my private stuff. Uh, you know me already. I'm very discreet about everything I do. I'm a very shy guy. I don't like to publicize anything. But I will say it again. Jeanette, I do love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll just give you a little insight. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go down and speak to these ladies now. 
they don't even know I'm coming. They probably are going to dread it. Most of them will probably dive underwater. And it's not because of me, it's because of you all. Because everyone wants to see me. So it's only obviously you know them all like broadcasts that so they're going to hide from me. But I'm going to go and talk to them. They're looking, a little, uh, they're looking a little uncomfortable, so we may not be able to talk to them for too long. But I'm going to remind them. Okay, you all are our movie stars today. I'm coming in the water with you all. I told them how friendly you are, Earl. And I told them that you were probably frightened of the camera. Um, but you will talk to me because you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> How are you all this morning? Good. All right. All right. We have we have uh, only 35 on board right now. Um, but I just want you to introduce yourselselves. What's your name again? Sorry. My name is Cheryl Waterman. Cheryl Waterman. Florida. Okay, and from Florida. Yeah. Awesome. And, and you are. We have Negrepe. We You're from Florida, or Barbados. Barbados. Oh, awesome. So, and you are originally obviously from Barbados as well. Yeah. Okay. Barbados. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, welcome back because we have a lot of people on here that would like to be exactly where you are in this beautiful water this morning. It's yeah. All right. We all have a great day. Um, all right, take care. All right, thanks very much. See you all later. I just gotta wait for that surge to come in so I can get up here. Jeez. All right, take care. Big, big drop off in this general area. So, if any of you know these two ladies, please tag them. Let them know they were seen this morning so they could come and join our family. I had some lovely conversations with them earlier on. They may not have thought it was lovely, but I thought it was a lovely conversation. You know, anything you do is lovely. Everybody knows that already. You know, so. I, I know already. I should say they know for sure that it was a lovely conversation. Let's not take any of the doubt element from that completely. We're not doing a huge long walk this morning. But what I did want to show you was, you see how up here has changed with the sand. You do remember when we were here last time, you had to step off. You last step here by about two feet uh, onto the actual beach itself. Look at the amount of sand, uh, <laughs> sand and boulders. Uh, Simone, take over there for me because... Although you're annoying, you actually do serve my purpose a lot. Please let him know about this west coast right now, what it's looking like. Check the size of this beach. Remember folks, these rocks here, very flat. They shift around quite easily in the sand. If you're walking on the coastline and you see anything like this here, please stay out of the actual surge. Because I have known people who have had chips on their ankles and their insteps, etc. Because of these large rocks. So please be very careful, these are not clear with walk into a shore break that's coming in and these move they will do some serious damage to you can see the size of them but look at the size of this beach now remember this is the last time we walked here which would have been in september when we walked in this section here those are handrails by the way they're not foot rails they're handrails or they're not foot rest um, that was actually right out we were walking on concrete slabs around there that have shifted um, terrible disrepair there was no sand zero sand in this area three months ago Look at the difference that there is now. Lots and lots of, well, yeah, we got some rocks. They will settle after the sea has gone a little bit down and stuff. They will start to settle um, back on the sand again. But look at the size of the beach. We did walk in front of Tamarind last time as well. We said about how they had no beach facility whatsoever. Their beach chairs are up on the upper deck. They had no chairs on the lower deck. There was no sand here. This is not a joke. Zero sand here. You would remember we were walking on concrete slabs here. And right up to the actual um, walkway there was sea coming in. It was in terrible, terrible, terrible condition. But it has built, which is expected at this time of the year. Um, it's looking beautiful. You can see the amount of boulders that have been dropped here by Tamarind. They're all new to when we came through as well in the past. If you have stayed here before, you will know that is a new structured area. Um, the wall they had in front of there was not holding back the water or protecting the property. So they've dropped these large armor rocks just in front here to protect the actual property itself. They were getting sea areas and the land was beginning to cave in. Um, just inside there we see the, the rocks in higher elevation all in there was hollow because of all of the eaten out underneath the actual um, Boardwalk area that they had Beautiful conditions now though. I mean right now down here the beach is full. It's beautiful The nice thing about it is although I'm no longer vegan. I don't oh lost. I just said it too fast smell of bacon and egg Buffet breakfast anyone that stayed here <laughs> Open your memory and remember what you'll be eating in a few minutes time Lovely smells, I must say. Bacon does smell good. I, I have a problem with the smell of bacon. I, I actually, I don't think I'll ever eat it again, but I tell you, it's one of my favorite things I used to like, that and pork. Lovely, lovely. Again, this is what you'll find all along the west coast at this time. Once upon a time, this would be in cover with sand because the beaches were way out beyond here. Um, however, the erosion that's been going on all around the island, um, this is the west coast, is one of the most noticeable um, because of the reefs that are coming up. And popping up in areas that you would have walked into the sea before and enjoyed a nice peaceful swim you can see how they're starting to pop up all over we've seen this all along the coastline as we've walked um, especially on the on the west coast there's a, a band of reef that runs all the inside here from sandy lane one right down to sandy lane they have the same reformation so sometimes it can be a little difficult 
to get into certain areas but this coastline is so long and has so many different sections on it and so many different beaches that you can always find swimming along the coast you just got to walk a little further all these huge trees that we were walking under just a year ago that were here live trees and stuff gone absolutely gone so the island may have been suffering some sea erosion or beach erosion but have a look at the beauty of this place i'm going to give you a, 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 we lost a part of a point there so i really should have started further back up there so i will give you a 180 from here just so you have a look and see what here looks like and then we get a little further on i will try and give you something a little bit more than the 180 so here we go How gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Switch Mary, let me give you a, a couple of seconds here on these boats. I know you love the boats, especially when your sun rays start to hit it and they start to brighten up on the sides of them. So I'll give you a couple of seconds here. You had enough, two seconds. <laughs> I don't waste time, wait till I give you a couple of seconds. That's one, two, you know, that a three, four, five, six, just a couple is a couple. I got a timekeeper on here that is so annoying as well. That if I, if I go a second over 20 seconds, she complains. If I go a second under 20 seconds, she complains. I'd rather than do it discreetly as I would do. I never, I never talk people out in public. Um, she will just decide that she's going to let everybody know that I didn't make the right thing. So I got to be real careful. All right, plastic in the water. I'll just throw this up on the beach further where it will not wash into the sea. Hopefully someone will move that later off the hotel property. Beautiful. Now everybody used to remember Daphne's restaurant directly in front of us. We sent the camera. Again, we are walking between Tamarin and the house. The house is going to be coming up in a minute. This is the Tamarin Hotel. You see known as Tamarin Cove. I remember here when it was a mahogany forest before this hotel was built. <laughs> oh, I better be careful with that one. I guess now you all remember the date this hotel was built. Please do not Google it. But I do remember when it's a mahogany forest. We used to drive through and come out here and sit down and watch, you see. Um, that was a long time ago, of course. Remember, I was born in 1971, so it'd be sometime between then and now. Morning, my brother. All my friends around the world saying good morning. All right, have a good day, all right, man? Lessons, buddy. Now, the reason that I am not a very big fan of West Coast either is because of the afternoon sun. If you don't have um, a nice angled terrace or you don't have trees in front around 3 o'clock or so, all these rooms, you're probably going to have uh, blinds because the sun is going to come straight in. And again, I'm not, I'm not for none of West Coast because West Coast is a beautiful course. <laughs> That was so good. I guess some of you were fooled for a second. I was not for any West Coast. Uh, I'm a South person, so I'm going to find everything negative to say about anywhere else. And it's not because anywhere else has a negative, but I will find it because I'm very inventive. Look at how beautiful these boats are beginning to brighten up now. Absolutely stunning. Again, a lot of work's gone on here since you were here last time. A uh, new set of steps have been built over on the southern side. I'm, I do not know what the name of this place is now. Um, I'm not going to tell you that I do. I'm sure someone on here will let you know, especially maybe our party animal sister because she seems to know every restaurant in Barbados or she's actually eaten in every restaurant in Barbados apparently so you can always check with her and see we were here last time none of these chairs were this far down and all of them were embedded in sand so you can see it has built a nice bit of sand here at this time of year um, North Swells tend to bring it into these bays here once again the reef on the outside it was always beach at one time we're just going to stop at that grind we're not going to carry this on too much longer. We've already been going quite a good walk already. Let's see here, 45 minutes or something. We don't want to carry them too long. We can leave the other section for another time. I'm going to give you, as soon as we get up here, we grind. I'm going to give you a lovely 20 seconds to breathe in. Uh, I'm going to extend it today. I'm going to give you a photo up and a half, which will be 30 seconds. See, 20 plus 10. I got my calculator with me, you know. So I'm going to make sure we do not cover these foolish bushes here. I'll make sure. I just, I'm just i showing it now because there are a couple of people on here that will sulk and that will um, complain all day long if I don't show them these here. I do not know why because they're really a waste of time. There's not, there's not like decorative when they're taken care of, but you know it is. I, I don't have too much time for them really. I'd much rather sit under a new tree and get blistered than sit in front of one of these and maybe one of those fruit drop in my mouth when I'm sleeping, which is a possibility. I like to snore my mouth open. Beautiful conditions. All right, so you're gonna get a little peep into Pains Bay again, another Pains Bay All this Pains Bay, Pains Bay Beach behind us, Pains Bay in front of us. If you um, go on the webcams and stuff, you will find Beach View. They have a beautiful webcam on here. Or you can contact uh, our conductor. 
His name is Ray Cope. You can ask him which best webcam to see. Uh, you call anywhere in the island, he will let you know because he's forever living on the webcams. I do not know if he gets sponsored to go on the webcams or why he's always on them, but he never comes off of them. So he tells me events are happening in Barbados. He will call me and say, Nick, what is happening at so and so location? I say, I don't have a clue. He said, Well, they're laying reeds or something like that. There, he always has his story for me. All right, so we're going to come as far out as we can walk. Remember, I am a skilled athlete, I am an Olympian. I actually am on what they would call a balance beam here right now, as you can see. And I'm, I'm about to do a backflip, but I'm going to let you all view the uh, scenery here. And then I'm going to do a backflip behind you all, so you all will not be uh, interrupted. So here we go. All right, so 30 seconds of that amazing view. This is Barbados. This is the West Coast, the island. Platinum Coast. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here we go. No matter where you look, you're gonna get beauty that is breathtaking. Here we go again. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds on this side now. Now just so you will see that I was not exaggerating, I am actually on my balance beam. Um, you, you will have to understand how skilled I am to be able to walk and backflip and look around and bring you all these beautiful sceneries. Uh, remember, do not practice any of the um, challenges or any of the stunts that you're seeing on this channel because I am certified. I am an amazing, amazing Olympian. I am versed in all of the possible um, events or physical events. Um, you can imagine if you ever saw me, you would understand why I, am, I have a Charles Atlas. A lot people call me Adonis when I walk on the beach. If I'm walking, my buddy, they call me GQ. They call me Mr. G. Call him Mr. Q. You understand? Hampsonness beyond belief. <laughs> so, uh, the, whole, the, the property behind us has been purchased. I think the billionaire came down here. He said, he told me actually he went to one of the guest rooms and entered one of the mattresses. The man has 12 guest rooms in his house and all of them are stuffed with thousand dollar bills. Get that there. But anyhow, um, we won't be doing a Christmas tree this year. Um, I've decided uh, not to put up Christmas tree this year. I'm going to save that for a special occasion next year. But this year, I'm going to be spending Christmas with the sulking head cheerleader. And she has promised me that I can call her Christmas tree mine. She has said I can take my, her Christmas tree home after lunch. So, you know, if you, if you take, see pictures of her Christmas tree, it would be before lunch because I'm going to take them home. Uh, I'm going to do what you call a grab and run. I'm going to go and eat food and leave her house immediately because I can't tolerate her for too long. So if she's watching this here, pretend you did not hear that, please. Um, because I, I would like to make you think I'm coming to spend the entire day to pull out all your refineries just for me. And then when I leave, you will cry. You know, I like, I like to see you sulking, of course. And you know, that is how it is. So we won't be having a Christmas tree this year, but we certainly will be broadcasting. I don't see many interruptions. We will be carrying a live broadcast on Christmas Day. Believe it or not, yes, we are going to be carrying a live broadcast on Christmas Day. Um, I want you to see how family um, love each other, so we're going to be broadcasting from our Christmas lunch, so that's something you can look out to. If you do not want to see her, uh, which is quite understandable, just come on to see me, which I know you obviously want to do anyhow. But uh, that's our plans for Christmas. Um, going over the pier, we let you know as it goes bit by bit. Uh, a lot of celebrations going on, a lot of activities going on, but we don't want to affect it. Seven days a week, we're going to be bringing up something on the EMC that you can come and say hi to your family, that's what we do. Um, we don't have off days, as you know, um, or we do have off days, but they're actually more social days and different types of days, but it doesn't mean that we're sitting quietly and not enjoying the beauty of life. All right, a lot of camera time there. So I don't want to look like our host, our Saturday host, who hogs the camera all the time. And I don't want to talk too much like our, again, our Saturday host who just does not stop talking, yap, yap, yap all the time. I don't want to be known as a talkative person. Um, I'm trying to save my reputation before I go down that road, so... I'm going to sort of like stop talking here for a minute. Uh, once again, I'm going to give you a 180 from here. Uh, I can give you a 360 and let you get the feeling of it. And then we're going to sign off. So get ready. Here we go.
and I lied about you not seeing me again. Uh, I don't lie often, but I just lied just now, so I have to admit it. You know, I usually when I'm telling a lie, I will I will say I'm lying. You know, like uh, that's that's the usual thing. So anytime you all don't hear me say that, you know, it's true. Uh, again, I want to remind you, we're not like any other tourist promotion. That is not what we do. We don't promote Barbados as a tourist destination. We promote Barbados as a place you can find peace and serenity and love and kindness and most of all, some of the most amazing people in this world. People who generally want to be your friends and family who will become that. You may come this year and you, as, as the guys will tell you in Spike Song on Saturday, you may come this year and you may see people and say, hi, how are you? And next year you'll be eating at their dinner table with their family and friends. That's how we do it in Barbados. So we're bringing you the beauty of Barbados as our backdrop to what we are bringing. And what we are bringing is the message to the rooms of God to let you see the beauty and the peace and the tranquility of this island and the serenity of this island. So hopefully you're feeling that and hopefully you're enjoying also the beautiful scenery as well. Regretfully, we're on the West Coast today, but we can't do any better. You all know already, I've explained myself, so I don't have to say it again. Um, this is not my preferred coast to be on by any means this morning. Absolutely not. This truthful is, I love down here. I really do love down here, but not as much as the South. So, still a South Coast person, but I do admire what you Westies rant and rave about. It is absolutely stunning. Have a great day, everyone. Love to you all. Please carry the peace and love that you're experiencing today. If you have not experienced that, you need to hit a replay on this here as soon as we're finished. If you still have not um, seen that or you don't feel that, I suggest you come and take one of my private tutoring courses. I will spend an entire day talking to you. And if you don't want to talk to me, try and find a piece of serenity before, because if not, I will talk to you for 24 hours straight. Um, as you will probably have been told by now, I would imagine, I saw a question come up. Yes, I do talk in my sleep. And you all know, have a great day. Love you all. I'm gonna leave you this view as we sign off. You have 20 seconds to say farewell to your friends until tomorrow. Um, see you all. Be safe. Be cool. Be nice. Be loving. Be kind. Smile. It will save a life. Catch you later.